Hi, and welcome to Fit for Any Battle, the podcast that is going through battle prostate cancer. This is episode number 14. I'm recording this two and a half weeks after my fifth chemotherapy treatment out of six for aggressive prostate cancer. So let's talk about things that have happened uh, since the last chemotherapy treatment. The night of the last chemotherapy treatment, I went on a 31 mile bike ride. The bike ride was a lot <laughs> compared to my usual Wednesday night bike ride that is around 12 to 17 miles at most. So this doubled the amount of miles that first day. And towards the end of the night, I could feel my glycogen stores in my legs were pretty much toast. It felt like I was bicycling through sand, and so I thought getting a good night's sleep would do the trick. Good night's sleep followed by a great day. Jump into Thursday. This is the day after chemotherapy treatment number five, and I did a 21-mile bike ride. So keep in mind, this is well over 50 miles over a two-day period, where typically I will do 20 to 25 miles on Thursday, and 12 to 17 miles on, on, on Wednesday. Um, what happened after that was really interesting. On Friday, so two days after chemotherapy treatment in the afternoon, I just couldn't go any further. My body was telling me I needed to rest. And so I laid down and fell asleep. Uh, a couple hours later, I woke up and I was feeling that wave of yuck hitting me pretty hard. However, I didn't have the energy level to go to the gym because I had completely wiped myself out the two previous days. So I ended up resting on that Friday night. And that meant that Saturday, I got my butt kicked. It felt really tough to do much of anything. I was weak because I had bicycled so much. Um, what The net net of this is that uh, for a couple days, I felt bad. And then I started recovering and coming right back into my usual self. And now I'm doing great. However, my recommendation, don't overdo the weights. Don't overdo the biking. What we have to do is come into treatment at a particular level of exercise. And we can, we can work up through treatment and continue to build up and continue to build up. However, if we're already at a pretty good peak, doubling it uh, puts a lot of undue stress on our bodies. So that uh, le leads us to the uh, multiple days of recovery that uh, were not that much fun. I was uh, laying down. Uh, I was seated. I didn't get up and do much walking because, as I said, I just felt like I had completely lost all of my energy, and I did. So some healthy eating got me back up after a couple days. Now, let's talk about the wickedly thin beard because I am one, two, four days away from uh, having my next chemotherapy treatment. And this one will be my last. So after this, whatever hair loss I have, will start recovering and going back up. But take a look at this. This is a pretty weak uh, beard when we do that trick of putting the flashlight behind it. Uh, the hair loss on top of the head is pretty much stabilized. I still have hair. It still goes back into a, into a ponytail. I've been wearing a hat lately uh, just to make it some sort of hairstyle because it doesn't look amazing with just uh, such little hair and a little beard. I almost look like one of those jazz uh, pianists or saxophone players, uh, you know, uh, thin beard, cool hat, uh, you know, mustache that barely fills in. Uh, if you put that compared to where I started, it's been a pretty significant uh, decrease in hair. So let's get back uh, to the, uh, um, the main topic here today, and that's going to be rest and recovery, because I think it's important for us to go through rest and recovery. 
But first, let's hear a word from our sponsor. The sponsor for today's Fit for Any Battle podcast is Update Everyone. Going through cancer treatment has been really tough. Keeping everybody in my support group updated has all of its own challenges. With Update Everyone, they assign me a telephone number, and I send a simple text message to that phone number with an update on how things are going. They then send it to every single person in my support group without me having to do a thing. No more Twitter messages, no more Instagram messages, no more Facebook messages, no more Facebook posts, not even a simple SMS to every single person on my support group. So with Update Everyone, I send one message and I get back to healing. You can too. Go to updateeveryone.com. And thanks to updateeveryone.com for sponsoring today's podcast. Let's talk about that recovery aspect because it's so important. When I had those rough days, um, what was crazy is that I was also having a really hard time sleeping. And that's because uh, when I normally sleep, we have something called a chili pad that sits underneath our uh, sheet and above the mattress. And it pushes a, a stream of water through tubes, just like a radiator in your car. And it cools off the body instead of the engine in the car. And for me, it's really about cooling down the back. During chemotherapy, I've realized that my ability to keep my body at a particular temperature is a little tr challenging at night. When I'm resting, there's so much stuff going on with my body. All the medications are doing a lot of stuff together. And what that means is I end up sleeping pretty hot. Our chili pad broke. And so during these nights of needed recovery, I wasn't able to get all of the sleep that I was hoping to get. And so I had to order a new chili pad. This time I got the, uh, the top of the line model. Uh, however, it took about two weeks to get here. And now I've had a really solid night of sleep and two nights ago, I had like three quarters of a night of solid sleep. The last two weeks, oh, it has been tough. Uh, I still have been biking. I've still been working out. However, the lack of sleep, it just does a number on the body. And so the encouraging words should never <laughs> go unheeded that you should cool your body during the night when you have chemotherapy surging through it. I happen to use the Chili Pad Chili Sleep System. They're not a sponsor of ours. It's just something that I've been using for years and I realized how important it was when it went away. I was having to take turns sleeping on the couch and then the bed and then the couch and then the bed because as the couch would heat up from my body, I'd switch to the bed. The bed would heat up from my body, I'd switch back to the, to the couch. Constantly moving around, never getting really great sleep, tossing and turning and so, for those of you that are going to be going through chemotherapy treatment, keeping our body at a reasonable temperature is so important. Getting that temperature right during a night's sleep is critical. It's everything that allows us to stay positive, maintain that positive attitude, put our head down and run through this treatment and get through the other side. It felt like I had my head down and I was running fast. And then when the chili pad broke, I popped my head up. And I realized I only have one more chemotherapy treatment to go, but this has been a bear of a couple weeks. Uh, I'm now uh, thoroughly enjoying the new sleep system. It's working great. It's staying nice and cool. And this one is really neat. It has a mobile app that allows me to set various times of the night where the temperature can be fluctuating. So I typically have it really cold when I get into bed and then it warms up a little bit and it stays at that temperature. And the really cool thing about the new chili sleep system is 30 minutes before I'm gonna start waking up, it starts warming the bed up. You only have to warm our body a few degrees to help us wake up. Cold when we sleep, warm when we wanna wake up is a really nice, easy way for us to maintain that sleep schedule. So in a few days, I'm gonna be having chemotherapy number six out of six. I'll be done, 100%. It's flown by. And uh, I, I'm thankful that you've joined me along this journey. I am gonna be having a four week hiatus and then I'll be having two months of daily during the week radiation therapy where they will be uh, performing radiation therapy on my pelvic region. 
That we will be also documenting to just tell you how things went, whether or not there's any pain, discomfort, things that we need to try, and the outcome of those solutions. So thanks for listening. I'll see you in just a few days. Thank you.